Hey guys, how's it going? It's Brendan here from Hyped on Crypto. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News, and today we're going to be talking about Litecoin's partnership with TokenPay, as well as them purchasing 10% of a bank in Germany by the name of AG. So we're going to be breaking this down, explaining what all this means, and how this could be Litecoin's replacement for LightPay, and bringing forth cryptocurrency, debit, and credit cards for Litecoin. So if you guys are interested, go and stick around for the video, and do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button, as it does help out the channel a lot. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump on into today's video. Video. So when this first came out, it raised a red flag for a lot of people because the last time that they saw something like this, it was LightPay getting suspended indefinitely. And if you guys don't know what the whole LightPay scenario was, essentially a couple of months ago, Litecoin tried to revolutionize itself through launching LightPay. Now, LightPay was meant to revolutionize Litecoin by bringing in more fiat pairs while also putting forth crypto credit and debit cards to help Litecoin be used for more real world transactions and not only just for trading on cryptocurrency exchanges. This ended up failing in one of the last days just before launch and it was you know handed out to the public it was actually suspended indefinitely and therefore canceled and so when people see this you know at the time this was added onto a longer list of litecoin kind of fading away i mean you had Charlie Lee selling off all almost all of his uh, Litecoin holdings, and then you had him coming out and saying that he wanted to fade away into the background and make Litecoin quote unquote more decentralized. And with him stepping away more and more at this time, you know you had the cryptocurrency market plummeting, and with that you had Litecoin plummeting, and then you had LightPay fail. And so when people see this, they can't help but get at least a little bit nervous because of what happened last time that they tried to launch something like this. But we know that, or excuse me, that we know that TokenPay um, is a company that works to get out cryptocurrency uh, credit and debit cards and they've already been working with coins like Bitcoin, um, EFIN, you know the TPay token, Verge um, and a couple of these other ones that they've been going forth. You know, there's been rumors about them working with uh, Tron and Cardano and a couple of these other ones. You know, that hasn't been confirmed yet, but what we see now is that Litecoin um, has officially partnered with them and also getting a 10% stake in the bank called AG over in Germany. So it's gonna be unique what they're gonna be able to do with that uh, and working through banks. We know that the German banks are starting to be very, very bullish on cryptocurrencies. Um, in fact, you know, some of the most bullish in the world right along the Swiss and the South Koreans. Um, but it's going to be it's going to be cool so essentially um we have a quote here from Charlie Lee, and he said, you know, the, this partnership is huge. Uh, it's a win-win for both Litecoin and TokenPay. I'm looking forward to integrating Litecoin with the WEG Bank AG uh, and all the various services that it has to offer. To make it simple for anyone uh, to buy and use Litecoin, I'm also excited about Litecoin support and TokenPay and EFIN's decentralized exchange. So what they're doing here is they're expanding their market. They're expanding their availability, which is something that's really essential in today's crypto world. You know, me personally, I have a lot of trouble getting crypto or at least fiat into cryptocurrencies, uh, at least if you're using Coinbase, because it can be a little bit of pain between the fees and the transaction times um, that they have on their exchange. And so with Litecoin making themselves more available, um, it, it will essentially bring in more money. And if this does work, now this is a big thing, this is a big if, because if they can get their crypto debit cards out to actually be used in real world transactions, you know, not just getting traded around like a stock, um, then that could be huge. The problem with this is that a lot of these people who are saying that it can be used all, in all these different places, it's only getting used in major cities or, or in capitals of countries, you know. So outside maybe like Switzerland or like South Korea slash Japan, you know, if you're in the US, you might only be able to buy stuff in Bitcoin or, or in cryptocurrency in like maybe New York or LA or one of these major cities. Um, because if you're in like, you know, just even, you know, the capital of your state might not even have um, crypto you know, it might not even be crypto accessible. And so what they need here to do is they need to make these these token pay debit cards accessible to a variety of places and not just these, you know, high, you know, condensity, you know, these big cities, I guess you could say, you know, it needs to be able to be used everywhere. It needs to be able to be used online. It needs to be able to be used if you go to the grocery store and you want to pay with something, you know, if you want to go get clothes, if you want to go out to eat, like, that's what it needs to be able to be used for. It doesn't need to be used for only select stories in major cities. And so if Litecoin can come out and accomplish that goal of letting themselves being used in, you know, maybe not everywhere, but at least, a, you know, a nice majority of places so that it's not just selected cities around the world. You know what I'm saying? So 
if Litecoin can accomplish that goal, I think that this would be wildly successful. And, and you know, it's another thing because we know that they have Charlie Lee on their team, right? He's the head developer for Litecoin. He's a huge background with Google. He's an, ex an extremely smart guy. So, you know, to say that Charlie is going to do a bad job with all of this and just kind of misuse his opportunity is a little bit, you know, silly because he is an extremely uh, smart individual and he definitely knows what he's doing so far. I mean, he's created one of the top, he's the lead developer for one of the top cryptocurrencies in the world, you know, along with this whole other list of resumes that he has next to him. And so it's going to be interesting to see how TPay and Effin work with Litecoin here to move towards the future you know this could be if they you know if they do this the proper way effectively then this could be a turnaround point for litecoin and taking back its number third spot on the cryptocurrency uh list you know whether that's going to happen or not you know we're yet to see but this is an opportunity for litecoin to kind of to kind of bump up their ranks a little bit to where they used to be in the top four cryptos so um, you know whether or not that's going to happen we're going to have to wait and see but they certainly have a great opportunity ahead of them if they can get these cryptocurrency debit cards done right and, and out to the public and make it as accessible as they talk about in here you know because that's a big thing they talk about how it's going to be so accessible and it's going to be so easy to use and um, you know we're yet to see that in crypto debit cards so um, if, it, if it actually is viable um, then again it's going to be revolutionary and you're going to see other coins follow this um, but token pay has been putting in a lot of work you know we've seen them roll out part partnerships with several coins in the past months so let me know what you guys think about this what let me know if you guys are a uh, a litecoin supporter or not you know whether you or not you like charlie lee and what you guys think about this whole situation with litecoin you know purchasing part of a bank in germany um while also working towards debit cards because that's pretty cool so let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below i will be active in all that down there as always guys all of the links to the articles will be in the description below as well but that's going to be it for this video guys if you guys did do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button and then I will see you guys next time. Stay hyped.